Hello everyone, welcome to the next bedtime story. This story is called The Night the Stars Went Out and it's by Suze Hughes. I've chosen this story because it's Child Mental Health Week this week and it's really important to remember that you're not alone. If you have any worries, um, there's always somebody there to share them with you. So I feel like this book is really appropriate for this week because it's all about friendship and sharing your worries and helping each other. I hope you enjoy it. Alien was a star shiner. Every night he kept the stars shining. Alien took his job very seriously. Maybe a bit too seriously. Alien never took any time to do anything fun and he didn't have any friends. Every day he shined and shined and shined. Shining is all he did. But one night, something disastrous happened. Oh no, what could it be? The stars went out. Goodness me, what's he going to shine now? Did I shine the stars too much? Alien wondered. We tried everything to fix the problem, but nothing worked. Alien was desperate, so he called the star helpline. They told him he needed a magic varnish. But varnish was only sold on a faraway planet called Earth. Oh dear, how would he get to Earth? Alien changed into his best human disguise and set off right away. It was a long trip. Wow, look at all this. Can you imagine that trip? All the way down to Earth. He must be very tired. When Alien finally arrived on Earth, he learnt something interesting. On Earth, aliens float. Well, I didn't know that. Alien hadn't planned for this, and he got himself into a bit of a tangle. Oh no, look, he's stuck in a tree. Silly alien. Help me! Alien kept yelling and finally he got the attention of a young boy and his dog. Hello, can you help me please? Alien asked. Sure, the boy replied. What must that boy be thinking? Alien's moustache was itchy, so he ripped it off. I'm Alien, he said. Well, I'm George, the boy replied, letting the balloon go and kindly tying Alien to the string so he wouldn't float away. What brings you to Earth? Alien explained the situation, feeling sadder by the minute. George listened carefully. When Alien finished telling him about the problem, George said... We can fix this. Come on, let's go to the hardware shop. Alien didn't know what a hardware shop was, but he was willing to try anything. Oh, George is kind, isn't he? Helping the alien when he needs it the most. Oh, even better, at the shop there's a sale. At the hardware shop, George knew exactly where to find the magic star varnish. They wasted no time in stocking up. Look how much they've got! Goodness me, even the dog's got some. Wow. Do, do you want to play with me for a while? George asked. Alien wasn't sure. He needed to get to the stars. He needed to get them back on. But George had been so helpful. Okay, Alien said. Maybe George is feeling a little bit lonely. I think that might be what it is. Alien couldn't believe how wonderful it was. How wonderful it was to play. He had never had so much fun. Wow, look at them. Dancing, riding on the dog, playing with the disco ball and the lights and the music. Oh, he's even at the park on the roundabout. 
they giggled and giggled and giggled. Oh, he's never had so much fun before, has he? He's never done anything like this. All he used to do was shine the stars. Alien felt very strange. His body felt tight. And he couldn't. He couldn't. No, his body did feel tight. His body felt very light. He felt like he was floating and he was smiling. He was happy. It was an emotion he'd never felt before. Not a happiness like this. He thought the stars made him happy. But all he needed was some fun and a friend. Then something extraordinary happened. Look at his t-shirt. I love Earth. He's a funny alien. The stars turned on. Wow, all by themselves without him there, polishing them. Wow. How did you do that? George asked. I didn't, said Alien. You did. You made me happy. I didn't need magic star varnish after all. I just needed a friend. Let's promise to stay friends forever, George said. That way the stars will never go out again. Look at those beautiful stars. And together, they are still keeping that promise. George has a telephone, and the alien has a telephone. So they get to call each other all of the time. Isn't that lovely? So next time you're feeling a little bit lonely, or you see somebody who's feeling a little bit lonely, why don't you go over to them and just say hi? Or just give them a smile. Good night children, I hope you enjoyed the story.